Cheerleading, stalking, useless police officers, black hoodies in broad daylight, and a f- ton of stock footage. Why would I not watch this? Also known as the wrong cheerleader coach stalked by my teacher and stop stalking my dad. From 2020, this is the wrong coach. I'm Jay Harang and I've wasted hours of my life watching terrible films. You should subscribe. Yes, and if you do enjoy it, please press the like button. It really helps me out. Thank you. This is Hannah and she's the main character. And this is her dad, John. Older viewers may recognise him as Parker Lewis. Whoa. John's an architect and he's had to move here for work, which means Hannah's starting at Stock Footage High School tomorrow. Her mum's dead, by the way. Oh. I already hate Hannah. And why is that? Because while her dad struggles to bring boxes in, she just stands there and doesn't offer to help. Dad, be careful with my trophies. I know, I know. You little whore. John needs to go to Stock Footage High to register Hannah. And here he bumps into the cheerleading coaches. Coach Burke, she runs the cheerleading program, and her new assistant, Devon. <laughs> Yeah, looks like Devon's pretty keen on John, so she offers to show him to the office. John tells her that Hannah's a cheerleader and that she'll be trying out for the team. Yes, this is a Lifetime movie, so Hannah's entire life revolves around cheerleading. Of course. Later, we see Devon with her personal trainer. She tells him she's looking to hook up with one of her students' dads, and he's like, maybe go out with someone your own age, and she gets really angry. Later, she goes home and finds Hannah on social media and scrolls through her photos to find some of her dad. Hello, daddy. What? Although I don't see Devon rubbing one out of the photos of John, it's certainly implied. At Hannah's house, she thinks she's seen someone outside. Hey! Ah! Oh, it's okay. It's just her neighbour, Ben. I live, like, right there. Thanks for that. Ben plays football for the stock footage high stalkers. Yeah, I'm the quarterback. So he'll be giving her a ride to school tomorrow. When they arrive, Ben takes Hannah to meet Coach Burke. Coach Burke tells Hannah that here at Stock Footage High, cheerleading is taken very seriously. Cut to John at work. Excuse me, are you John Thompson? That's right, this is Melissa, the only colleague of John's we meet, and he's already in love with her. But oh no, Devon is watching. This is a Lifetime movie and she's wearing a black hoodie, which means she's invisible, even in broad daylight. Really? Really? Melissa and John agree to go on a date, because they're both foodies. <laughs> Devon is livid about this date, and later she complains to her personal trainer about it. But when he tries to comfort her... You lay another hand on me in a non-professional way, and I'll scream sexual harassment. Whoa! Okay, back at stock footage high, it's time for cheerleading tryouts. Something tells me Hannah's got a decent chance of making the team. Check out this competition. That doesn't look good. The tryouts stretch over three days and Coach Burke's like, right, let's see what you've got. And they all just start doing random routines. There's absolutely zero structure to this. I'm no expert on cheerleading, but some of this is awful. Yes. Yes, it is. And that's it for day one. But at least Hannah meets this girl, Claire, and now they're best friends. When Claire goes for a shit, Devon approaches Hannah. She's like, Hannah, you're good, but Coach Buck doesn't like new people, so Devon offers to give her private lessons at home. You're allowed to do that? To put it bluntly, no. It stays between us, okay? Hannah asks her dad, and he agrees to pay for the private lessons, as long as she hasn't been giving Ben the neighbor hand jobs in exchange for rides to school. Ew, Dad, stop. Well, it has to be said. Meanwhile, Devon's telling her psychiatrist that she's in love with John. Her psychiatrist is like, OK, Devon, let's just make sure you're not trying to relive your life through his daughter. It's not like that. But she's like, well, Devon... I said it's not like that. OK. So therapy seems to be going well. Now she's back with her personal trainer complaining about a psychiatrist. She's the shrink from hell. He's like, look, Devon, you need to keep up with the sessions, as that was the deal when you were sentenced. And Devon doesn't like being reminded of that. So he's dead. Back at stock footage high, day two of the tryouts has just finished and Coach Burke wants to see more from Claire. Then Devon chimes in. I would have been embarrassed by a performance like that. Bit harsh. Hannah comes over to see if Claire's okay and she's like, not really. Coach Devon's mental. Hannah goes home and it's her first private session with Devon. John gets back from work, so Devon goes in to say hi. Hello, John. Do you mind if I have one of those? Kind of hot. He's got none left, so she just grabs the one he's drinking out of his hand. She starts throwing herself at him, but then Hannah comes in and ruins it. Good. The next day at Stock Footage High, we find out that Hannah has made the team. She goes to thank Devon for her help, and Devon's like, I've got an idea. Let's go to your house and tell your dad. But Hannah's like, uh, it's okay. I'll tell him tonight. Later at home... I made the team! No! Yes! <laughs> 
Yeah, Devon gave Hannah a ride home so she could share the moment. Hannah's like, is it okay if I go out with my new friends tonight? And John's like, yeah, he's got a secret date with Melissa anyway. So Hannah leaves. Devon's like, right, John, now that we're alone, let's start drinking. He's like, look, thanks for helping Hannah, but this is never going to happen. I bet I can change your mind. I don't think so. I, I have plans tonight. You don't know what you're missing. So John thinks Devon is a bit weird. Later, Claire is telling Hannah that she's found out stuff about Devon. It turns out Devon shouted at one of the girls in the locker room when she thought nobody else was looking. Oh, no! Meanwhile, on John's date with Melissa, they're talking about work, so we'll be skipping that. But, oh, no, Devon's there spying on them. She's wearing a black hoodie, though, so nobody can see her. Yeah. As Hannah and John are out, Devon takes this opportunity to break into their house and steal photos of John and his dead wife. Okay. The next day at school, Devon has turned up wearing glasses because she assumes that's the reason John chose Melissa over her. She offers Hannah a ride home so she can show John her new look. On the way there, she's like, Hannah, let's surprise your dad with dinner. And Hannah's like, uh, okay. But when they get there, it's a bit awkward. Mmm, John, you've got to try this Mongolian beef. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. No, seriously, it's some of the best I've ever had. I think the answer to that is no. He's like, I think you better leave. John, don't be silly. We haven't even had dessert yet. Please. <laughs> You. He's like, right, that's it. Get out now. When she leaves, Hannah's like, what was that? And he's like, yeah, she's mental. I'll let the school know. But Hannah's like, no, the school can't find out about my private lessons or I'll be kicked off the team. So he agrees to just see how things play out. Next day at cheer practice, Devon starts picking on Hannah. The way you're representing this school is a disgrace. <laughs> Coach Burke saw that, so she tells Devon to back off. When Hannah gets home, she tells her dad what happened. So John decides it's time to see Coach Burke. Does Hannah have any idea what she thinks might have led to this episode? John's like, yeah, we hired Devon to give Hannah private lessons. Then she came on to me and I told her to piss off. How did Miss Walters react to that? Uh, not well. So Coach Burke goes to have a chat with Devon, but all she does is tell her not to give any more private lessons. Hannah goes to visit her dad at work and he breaks the news to her that he's seeing someone. He was worried how Hannah was going to react because Melissa is not her real mommy, but Hannah's really happy for him. <laughs> He's like, there's something else I need to speak to you about. And she's like, no, Dad, I'm not giving hand jobs in exchange for rides to school. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's like, I've had to tell Coach Burke about the private lessons, but it's okay, you're still on the team. And she's like, good. But oh no, Devon's spying on them again. Later that night, John, Hannah and Melissa go out to eat. Hannah really likes Melissa and everything's going really well. But when Melissa goes for a shit, Hannah sees Devon spying on them. I think I just saw Devon spying on us. What? Sure was her? Hannah's like, yeah, I wish they'd just sack her. The way that lawsuits are nowadays and all, they can't, you can't fire anybody anymore. Good point. They decide not to tell Melissa about this, but later Hannah does tell Ben. He's like, maybe we should call the police. But Hannah's like, no, I need to find more information about her first. Why? No idea, but that's the plan. So Hannah gets on her laptop, that's definitely not a Mac, finds the last school Devon coached at and sees that the head coach there was Coach Hughes. So Ben and Hannah go to Coach Hughes' house. Yes, that's Tara Reid. Hi. Coach Hughes is like, oh, okay, yeah, Devon. She was a really good coach. But then she started stalking one of the cheerleaders' dads. Did he go to the police? He was stabbed to death. <laughs> Plot thickens. Cut to Melissa, who's on her way to meet John for lunch. <laughs> so she's dead. Oh, no, she's not. She's got some minor cuts and bruises. What? But good news, the police are on their way now. And here he is, Detective Sherman of the ULPD. That's the useless lifetime police department. I'm sure you can guess what's coming. Yes, that's right. There's nothing they can do. That's absurd. Cut to Devon, who's with a psychiatrist. Same old crap. Excuse me. It's the same old crap. I think we're done for the day, Devon. So she strangles her to death. Later at school, Hannah and Claire are about to leave, but Hannah's left her keys in the locker room. <laughs> Luckily, Ben hears the scream and comes running in. He's like, Devon, put the knife down. But Devon's like, no. I wouldn't worry, because the knife is clearly plastic. But for plot purposes, it's a real knife and Hannah's life is in danger. But hang on. <laughs> and here it comes. Looks like I hired the wrong cheerleader, coach. Love it. Anyway, when Detective Sherman comes up, it looks like the ULPD has struck again, as Devon has disappeared. There are many ways to escape this place. Oh, I see. One year later, we see this girl practicing cheerleading in her backyard with her proud single dad watching on. But oh no, it's Devon and she's at it again. And that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And please consider joining my Patreon. There's a link in the description. Thank you.